Hey, you guys. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to the Ultra Life Podcast or the Ultra Life Show if you're on YouTube. So today I'm going to dive into a recap of my week one from the Lose 7 Pounds in 7 Weeks Summer Fun Challenge and walk uh, you guys into what my week two is going to look like based on what worked, what didn't work, and what I want to do different from week one. Okay. So let's dive in. So, um, and just real quick, if you're just listening to this one and you did not listen to the first one, essentially it's a, a cut that I'm doing as a part of my training and a part of my overall goals. So to lose seven pounds in seven weeks, and I created my initial plan last week and now to be able to lose one pound last week. So now we're going to go into that plan, what worked and what we're going to do going into this week too. So what I did week one was not anything crazy. It was not no carbs, no alcohol, no sugar, no nothing. Uh, It was not a 180, like a lot of the diet culture and restrictive diets uh, have you thinking you need to do to lose weight and to cut. And, And just, you know, to be really upfront and clear is like, I don't have much more than seven pounds to cut. I mean, maybe 10, I don't know, like it'd be stretching it, I feel like. So like, if I can do this, do you see how like even I, who only has like seven pounds to cut, I do not have to completely restrict food groups or, you know, alcohol or sweets or any of that stuff. Okay. So you don't have to either. Okay. If you have more weight than that to lose, you've got a lot more leeway. Okay. So we don't have to get all cray cray and just like totally ditch food groups and like, oh, I can only go 180. Okay. All right. So what I did do is that I cut out chips. I said, okay, I'm not going to have any chips uh, with my sandwiches because I love sandwiches. I probably have those a couple times a week. I said, I'm going to stop having mayo, which I usually like with my sandwiches. Um, I love mayo. So I'm going to stop having mayo. Um, And again, this is not like you just heard me say, like, I'm powerfully choosing these. Like, I know these are my areas. So like, um, to not have chips or not have mayo, it's not that I'm never going to have these ever again. It's just that I know for me, I don't need those. And that would be the ways that I can cut, right? No sweat off my back. I feel not, I don't feel any bit restricted or deprived by saying that. Um, what else was there? Oh, um, having two carbs a day for my meals, not including, um, pre and post workout. I don't count that. That's like, I need to fuel my body. So I'm totally fine having some carbs then, um, if needed, but for my meals, really keeping it to two carbs, uh, for say, like if I'm not going to work out until the afternoon, wouldn't have carbs at breakfast. I would have them at lunch and dinner something like that, two carbs a day with my meals versus all three. Um, it, or just like cutting back on the carbs. Like specifically, if I usually had two pieces of toast or a whole bagel, I would have half, right? Um, and then I think it was two other things. It was not having my like chocolate or sweets like after lunch, which I usually was having, even if it was a little something, like really aiming to not do that. And then cutting out uh, dessert most nights. Cause I was having it, I feel like pretty frequently, maybe if I was going to put a number four, seven days or something. So really trying to bring that down to like two out of seven days. And so here's my evaluation of that plan. So I'm going to say overall it worked because I lost two pounds. I went from 138 pounds to 136 pounds when I weighed in on Sunday. If you guys were tracking me on Instagram, you saw that um, how I was losing some already throughout the week and just where that ended up. So got down to 136, two pounds down. So it's double my goal. Um, So very successful plan. It worked. So what I'm going to do going into this week is to keep that same plan. Essentially, I'm going to keep the same plan and I'm going to 
help, I'm going to kind of fill the gaps where I could do that better, essentially. So what do I mean by that is when I evaluated my week, I was not perfect, okay? So let me share with you some when I evaluate. So that was the other thing that I actually did, you guys. And if you want to get results and you are not doing this, I don't care what, if you have the plan from like the best nutritionist and trainer on this earth, you know, the Kobe Bryant, like uh, LeBron James, rest in peace, Kobe Bryant, um, like whoever that nutritionist or trainer or you think is like the best of the best and like you want to get after, I do not care what plan they have. If you do not follow it and evaluate your results to know it is working or it is not working, what do you want to do different? you're not going to get the results. I don't care what plan you have, right? So in order to make sure I keep moving forward into this week, I evaluated that plan, not just, so I evaluated what worked to find out overall that worked, that plan. Um, What didn't work for me was, and that I'm going to make the shifts going into this week is, y'all, I had pretzels with... I think I I didn't have as many like sandwiches I feel like last week, but earlier in the week I was like, no, I'm good. And I had my fruit or my veggies with it. But there was a couple days towards the end of the week when I like, I wanted my pretzel. I wanted something like kind of like crunchier. So I had pretzels. That was my like sneaky way of being like, it's not chips. Like I can have pretzels. (laughs) right? This is like my self-talk. Like I go through these same things that you guys go through, these negotiations, right? So I'm okay with it. I've graced for myself. It's like, okay, like I'm a human. And what I tell my clients and what I practice and preach myself is 80-20. So 80% of the time I'm eating these whole, delicious, amazing, healthy, fueling foods. And then the other 20% of the time we eat whatever we want, okay? So if I wanted to have some pretzels, it's in that 20% and it wasn't chips. So there was that. Um, There was, um, I did end up having like a little bit of dark chocolate or something, one or two of the days, Um, some kind of sweet snack. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't dark chocolate like my usual, but there was like a couple days, just like two after lunch that I had something sweet. Or or maybe it was like just in the afternoon. So I wasn't perfect on that and that's okay. I hit my goal at 80% of the time. So that, and then I feel like there was one day, oh yes. And then the other one day that stood out to me, thing that stood out to me that didn't work was when I got the most amazing, delicious burger from Smashville. Smashville, Asheville, um, the food truck. It's amazing. You guys, if you love burgers, I highly recommend. So I got the burger and fries. Um, that was my joy. Part of my joy eats that 20% where I eat whatever I want that night. I finally could get over to them. And I was like, heck yeah. Didn't feel like cooking. It was just like, yes. So I got the burger and fries and normally I would not eat the whole bun on it. Um, I might not even eat the whole sandwich. Like it's, that's generally a lot unless I'm really hungry. And so I ate the whole burger and it's a double cheeseburger, you guys. Um, and I ate the whole bun, which was not normal. So I think I was just in like, um, kind of like in an effort mode and, and like out of my, um, out of my like thinking of this like future self and what I want, you know, because I remember eating the burger and then like getting to that point where I was feeling full, like halfway through, maybe a little bit more than halfway through. And then I kept eating it. So do you see you guys like none of us are perfect humans. Okay. And if you've arrived at that place already, that's great. But like here I'm in a cut too, and I have to go through the same things at times that you guys do, right? Like where we overeat. It's okay. It's all right. (laughs) I think one of my superpowers, I need to do a podcast on this, is that I don't freaking bash myself if I overeat the burger and and have a few too many fries, which is rare for me. Like that's 
That's not usually my MO, but for whatever reason I did that night, right? So I'm going to take that away going into this next week of being like, okay, I don't know, like, um, if I really wanted to d- dig in and reevaluate, but I'm like, you know what? I'm just, I am aware of that because I evaluated, I, I evaluated li- literally that night. I'm like, okay, that was too much. And the next day, and then at this, and definitely yesterday, um, to evaluate my full results and be like, okay, that did not work. So I will not do that again going into this week. Right. Um, but yes, that is one of my superpowers. And I would encourage you guys to take that is grace, like stop shitting on yourself and feeling shame and guilt when you overeat, when you eat off plan, when you, you know, whatever it is that happens, because it's going to happen, especially in the beginning and especially in the middle. Like, and even, even when you have your, you know, you've got your golden weight and your results, it's still going to happen. We're freaking humans, man. Like have some grace and space for yourself and evaluate. So you become aware of what you don't want to do again, right? Don't just shove it under a rug and shame yourself because that's going to have you eating more and spiraling out. Okay. I'm going to stop on my rant there. So that was week one results and what I learned from it. So going into week two, I'm going to keep that same plan because it worked, right? And I'm going to be a little bit more mindful about, um, you know, do I even want to have those pretzels um, or is there something else that I can have? Actually, we had some uh, jicama at a baseball party this weekend. It's just like really incredible, like crunchy, watery root vegetable. Um, if you've ever seen or heard of it, but people like slice it and put it with veggie trays. So I think I might get some of that to have my crunch um, or some more carrots or celery. So that's what I'm going to do to help solve that. Um, and then I, yeah, for the joy eat, like when I want to have, I don't know, it's like when I eat out, I'll just be more aware of that, like stopping when I'm full. Um, and I want to you know, be a little bit tighter on my dessert or treats to really be like, like maybe that's, um, uh, like I have what I've been having to help with my little sweet cravings is a tablespoon of peanut butter with a little bit of honey. So maybe it's having that, but only one, (laughs) um, for those little afternoon treat times or just really to work to not have that little after lunch sweet time, even if it's only once or twice. So just fine tuning some little tweaks to my overall plan that worked, right? So that's it. That is what I'm going to go. That is what I am doing going into week two here for lose seven pounds in seven weeks, summer fun challenge. Um, if you all missed it this time to get in, then you, I'm most likely not going to be doing it again. But we are doing it in the Ultra Life Coaching Membership where you get access to all of these special videos and um, all of the things for the challenge in there to set you up with your plan, how to evaluate, where you get coaching on it. And that is going to live there um, as modules you can access. So that to join the ultra live coaching membership, you can do that anytime. So technically you could jump in, um, still on this challenge if you want to, um, we kicked it off yesterday, but you could dive in honestly at any time and just catch up and, and pick up where you're at. If that's this week or next week. Um, And you get all the other goodness of the ultra life. So uh, that will live in there if it is something you're like, okay, actually, I do want to do this. I want to get results like Samantha, um, or you'll see what my members get that joined. So um, if you're interested in that, you can go in the show notes to join, or you can DM me. Okay. Um, Yeah, I'm super excited, you guys. Like I, I really... Oh, and actually that's the thing I didn't touch on was training. My training was essentially, you know, the same training plan and I felt fueled and great for my training, felt really good. Um, and actually I did abs a few days additionally, but then it kind of lagged the last part of the week. So I really do want to do a little bit more abs to just kind of like, 
be on top of myself and have that vision where I'm like, cause that's a part of my vision and purpose. It's like, I want to see my abs this time. So I'm going to uh, do a few more of those this week to really like anchor in my vision and obviously to get some physical progress there. So excited for that too. All right, you guys, that's it for today. I hope this is helpful to actually walk through this process with me and see like quite literally like what I'm doing and how it's working, how it's not working and the results that I'm getting. So um, I will have an update for you guys on next week for week three to show you what's possible. And you can definitely follow and join me on Instagram at Samantha's Real Life, where I'll be sharing stories and posts about it, I'm sure, all throughout the week. So, all right, you guys, we'll see you again soon.